it is the 16th of July. So happy birthday, Barb. See you in a few days. This is Mountain View Pond, and I camped overnight here. Beautiful location. <laughs> Beautiful location. But not necessarily the greatest campsite. I'm basically on the trail. Not the AT, but a side trail. Just along the lake. Gonna make some miles today. Climbing up Little Boardman. Uh, this is not the direction of Katahdin, it's the other direction, but it's only a partial view from this mountain. But it's still good, there's an inspiration, a couple tents from the peak. Part of the AT in Maine, I just had a conversation with three ladies, all of whom were older than me, part of a trail maintenance crew that was out here doing maintenance on the trail. They were describing to me some of the projects that they've been involved in, putting in steps. They were saying uh, the steps on... Uh, uh, the last mountain there are the longest steps on the AT, 780 steps. And I was like, wow, wow. I mean, to do those steps is just, is the rocks, huge rocks, rocks weighing hundreds of pounds have to be l leveraged into place with these steel bars from around the area. I mean, this takes years and years and years to, I think they said seven years or 17 years or something like that for that project, 11 years, 11 years. But I thank them and I kind of make a point to really thank every trail maintainer because there would be no trail if it wasn't for the maintainers. It, it would cease to exist. So, this is a wonderful part of Maine, and the trail in Maine, I can tell the difference, even from nine years ago, and the quality of maintenance, and the shelters, and the privies, and clearing the, clearing the blowdown of, blowdowns of trees in the spring, thanks to the maintainers. Wonderful little pond here. Completely wild. Yeah. I'm so lucky. This is Cooper Brook Falls. Down. People were just swimming here. Water's a little deep here. Back up there, uh, the shelter. So I'm just stopping in for a break, but I don't know. This water might be calling to me. Part of Maine is very flat. It's been making some really good miles, but a fair number of these bog boards around. Definitely thankful for them. It'd be really slogging without it. A lot, a lot of trail maintenance going. I mean, even just like this little slot here to direct the water off the trail with two 
boulders that had to be levered into place. Uh, yeah, Looks like here's a muddy spot. I could use a little bit of work. Better put the camera away. So what do we have here? Trail Magic, Boy Scout Troop 61 from Rentham, Mass. Sure, how to open this thing. Ooh, Sour Patch kids and Three Musketeers and Cheez Its. Scooby must have had a field day here. Oh, they got a little log. I'll have to sign that one. Wow. Cool. Wow. Oh, that's the garbage. Okay. Wow. Thank you, Boy Scouts. And enjoy this. So this is the sand beach at Joe Mary. I think it's Joe Mary Lake. Oh, stopped in here. Probably I probably took a like an hour break with swimming. It's so good. Oh, I just wanted to. The sun's gone behind a cloud now. The sun was out. The sun was shining. This is like, I mean, no kidding, like the best spot on the EAT. I mean, wow. Across the way there is the Antlers campsite area. I think it's, I think it's right over, right over there. I think it's that point. And uh, I went up there. I wanted to go further today, but uh, that had a tent site like right on the point, and. Uh, Water on three sides, breeze, so no bugs. <sighs> wow, crazy good, crazy good. Okay, well I gotta, I do have to get out a few miles today. It's only four o'clock though, so plenty of time. <laughs>